Well, hello there. Welcome back. Happy Tuesday. I have a great video for you today and I hope it will help with this week's theme of budgeting because as many people mentioned in the first video I made, budgeting was a big priority for them. So today I want to talk to you about how being lazy now can help you build wealth in the future. What? Seriously. I mean, think about it. If you wanted to save $100, you'd likely have to work for $120, then you would lose $20 to taxes, then you would have your $100. So you have to work more and get less. Alternatively, you could just not spend that $100 in the first place and be lazy, and then you still have that $100. <laughs> so essentially $100 is $120 that you don't have to work for again, right? We interrupt this program for a brief introduction on taxes. So you earn $50,000. That means you are taxed at these rates here. On your first $46,605, 15%. Above that, you tax 20.5%. Provincially, same story, just different numbers. What that looks like in calculation, the first chunk here is times 15%. This rest of the chunk here of the $50,000 is 20.5%, and then the same provincially. That equals a total of $10,500.09, which divided by 50 equals 21%. So let's say you want to go on a vacation in a few months that would cost you about $2,000. So you're working at a job, maybe making $20 an hour, let's say. So if you're making the $20 an hour, you think, oh, well, perfect. It will take 100 hours and I can save up and then I'll be able to go on my trip. Well, not actually, because when you consider how much tax is taken off, which would be about $4, so you'd only earn $16 an hour, you actually have to work 125 hours to be able to save up $2,000, not just 100. Or you could just reduce your spending and try and figure out how you can save $2,000 with the money that you already earn. To me, I'd rather be lazy and just not spend that money in the first place and then I don't have to work so hard to get that money back in my pocket. And if you think, oh, well, there's nothing that I can cut from my expenses right now, I'll have to work for more. Well, you'd be surprised. If you can reduce your spending by going to one less restaurant a week or making coffee at home or working out at home rather than going to a gym, maybe you're just buying things on sale or starting to buy things in bulk if you can. These are all different ways that you can reduce the amount that you're spending over the long term and that will help you achieve your financial goals quicker and with less effort because you have more money by buying less. So I invite you to consider how your finances work. Are there any spending goals that you want to achieve? And if so, how can you achieve them? Do you need to work more or can you take the lazy route and just not spend the money in the first place and use the money you already have. To me, I would pick the latter because it's so much easier. Well, I look forward to Thursday's video. I'm gonna put together my own budget with my own finances and maybe you can follow along with your finances and build your own budget. So with that, I hope you have a great day and take care. See ya.